Welcome guys to the channel, hope you're all doing well. So guys, this is our third video for the evening. We've been gone for a while, but we are back now. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, share and subscribe. So, let's jump into the video, let's get this party on. Alright guys, what are we looking at? We're basically looking at an American half truck. The M3 chassis. Sent to Israel. And they put, not sure if it's 20s or 30 millimeter cannons on it. Or, yeah, took the concept of World War II. Americans had the four M50 uh, cals and they mounted 20s or 30s. I'm not, can't remember precisely. That's what we're looking at. Known as the TMC-20 SPAAG. Not in rank of the early ground force tree. Cold War era. A brief, a late 1960 Israeli anti-air gun system or SPAAG based on the American M3 half truck outfitted with a twin pair of 20mm anti-air turrets. Come on, guys. English right. Oh, okay. So, off track fitted with a twin with a twin twenty millimeter anti aircraft anti aircraft turret. I messed up. Sorry, sorry me. Going through the things too quick. T C M twenty S P A A G Israel rank. Features, punchy, 20mm cannons, high rate of fire, good mobility, light protection, exposed fighting compartment. Oh, well, look at that. It's a half truck. If anybody wants to read the history, I'm not going to read through it. Um, oh, it was only retired in 1990. Oh, okay. Hmm, that's quite interesting. Very interesting. I didn't know that. So, itchies? Pictures. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. For you. Really, really. Admit the. You put the German half truck and you put the American half truck together. It'll be difficult to pick which one. Really nicer. The Americans had a straight design philosophy. Build them, get them out, get them into the fighting. The Germans were a bit more methodical in theirs. It wasn't over looks, but it was over perfection. Yeah, it's difficult. Do you want reliability? And do you want um, mass production or do you want precision? Difficult to pick. I'm just going to read through here yeah, anything significant or anything uh, I think is important. We will read. Uh, it's got a max speed of 64 kilometers. So yeah, on hard roads, on ground, you could say about 40, maybe 50. Because it's off track. A 20 millimeter couple of 20 mm high firing rates. Uh, loaded armor piercing ammunition also makes the TMC quite dangerous. For hostile SPA, as well as other lightly armored vehicles. One thing for sure, there is no missing... Missing, missing about with the. Yeah, I'm just trying to see what's the penetration. Okay, yeah, we got some armament while the chassis is strong. All sorts of weapons to be fitted to it. Running a 50 cal machine gun to a 75 anti tank gun. Guided missiles. Yeah, no, no. Nova's 20, 20 millimeter setup base. The familiar M45 turret. American tankers. Recoil. From the M16 MG MC as a result. Okay, so it's basically just the evolution of the vehicle. You went from this one to this one to this one, this one, this one. This one. Like we've got most of these vehicles already in game with the 76 mm. Um, yeah, there's nothing really more to talk about. Yeah, I don't say what 20 mil cannons they are actually putting on this thing. If they would be a bit more precise, we could get an understanding of penetration. 
But this thing should be able to deal with a lot of vehicles. Especially lightly armored vehicles. Very nice. Oh, sorry guys. Deal with a lot of softly target vehicles in that. So, yeah, and helicopters. Low aircraft. It should do quite a bit of damage too. So very nice to see. It's iconic. Anybody that's watched Israeli war movies or anything like that. Even some American war movies and that. See them around and guys that like follow like tank fests and all of these type of things you all floating around. So very, very nice to see it to the game. Part of history that should be remembered. So yeah, it served in the Young Clipper War. This thing went far. I mean in end in, in stopped production in nineteen ninety. Yeah, it had a very long service history, especially this chassis. So very nice to see it. Could be put into a thing like this in War Thunder where it could be admired. Guys, don't forget to hit that like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.